Lynch also dodged Republican questions about her private meeting with Bill Clinton while the FBI invest investigation was still very much active. And here to weigh in, it's Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst. He joins me now. Uh, how do you feel the attorney general did under today's questioning? Well, I, I thought she did very poorly. Uh, in fairness to her, I think she revealed that she is far more lawyer than she is politician, and she's uncomfortable carrying water for a decision that uh, ought to have come out a different way. I don't know how the meeting with Bill Clinton came about. Uh, the That's worst case scenario mysterious. is. I mean, there's so many elements there that are just odd. Look, if he manipulated this in order to take out Mrs. Lynch and her senior aides from being in a position to make a decision on whether or not evidence against his wife should be should presented to a grand jury. Yeah. That's called obstruction of justice. Yeah. N nevertheless, whatever they talked about, they could have talked about the grandchildren and golf, which is what she told the committee they talked about. Even if that's the case, the impression of him going into a private jet with just her and her husband yeah. and, and flight attendants there, while he and his wife are being investigated by the Justice Department that she runs. That impression was so bad she recognized it. She was compromised and she took her senior staff out of the case. Now yeah. that leaves the investigation of Mrs. Clinton's failure to keep safe national security secrets entrusted to her in the hands of the FBI. Kennedy, this is the first time in the post J. Edgar Hoover FBI, yeah. that the, which means going back to 1971 when Hoover died, that the FBI and not the Justice Department have the final word on whether someone is going to be prosecuted. That's mystery number one. Mystery number two, which was not asked about today, and I'm critical of the Republicans, they didn't ask the right questions that lawyers should ask. They, they never asked, coordinate. They You're asked right. questions that politicians would ask. Yeah. The Democrats, who were more interested in gun control and copyright problems, yeah. at least coordinated their questions. Mrs. Lynch. What information was presented to a grand jury? What grand jury? They never convened a grand jury. Now, the FBI in criminal cases is powerless without a grand jury. A grand jury can issue subpoenas. The FBI cannot. So if there was no grand jury involved from the beginning, one wonders how serious they took this case. And if there was no grand jury involved and Brian Pagliano wasn't going to testify before a grand jury, what did they what give the him immunity, immunity for? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So th they failed, in my view, the Republicans, yeah. to zero in on the serious weaknesses uh, in the government's behavior. And they got no answers from Mrs. Lynch. They got a couple of nice sound bites yeah. for our, our colleagues who will be airing them on the evening shows tonight. We only have uh, time for one more question I have to ask too. Do you think it's odd that they didn't put Hillary Clinton under oath when she was questioned by the FBI? The, the FBI does not put you under oath when you are questioned by them at the tail end of their investigation. And there's a reason for that. Okay. The penalty for lying to the FBI is the same whether you're under oath or not. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that takes care of that. I think Director Comey uh, alluded to that. Um, the other one is there are two House committee chairs who have uh, looked into perjury charges against Hillary Clinton. Do you see that going anywhere? Probably not, because Mrs. Lynch is the one who'd have to decide whether or not it goes before a grand jury, the yeah. same Attorney General Lynch. But the evidence for, let, let's put aside perjury, it's this other crime that I just mentioned to you, misleading, yeah. lying when you're not under oath, or, or technically telling the truth but misleading. Yeah. The evidence of her misleading Congress is overwhelming. The FBI made, made the case. Yeah. Will they present it to a grand jury? Who will make that decision? Loretta Lynch not looking good. So don't hold your breath. All right, Judge, thank you so much. You're Always welcome. love your insight. My pleasure.